Hello guys, it's uh, Friday, it's uh, about five-ish I imagine, not really check my watch and it's uh, beer o'clock review time, so beer and gear so tonight we're going to talk about some new running shoes we've got in but as always, first of all the beer and I've got a special beer, Dirt Church Radio beer big shout out to Maddie and Eugene from Dirt Church who sent us a case of this down um, by, what's the beer from bro? Hallertau Hallertau Brewery up in Auckland and uh, it's a bit of a cracker actually. Me and Dan have just opened one because we deserve it. We've been working hard all day. So anyhow, yeah, Dirt Church Radio Beer. The best trailing podcast in New Zealand and Australia. Possibly the world. Possibly. Before I get told off for saying that. I think it's good. I think it's good call. Oh, it's great. They're great guys. Right, anyhow, yeah, the gear. Bing, bing. New brand. Scott running in the house. So... We've gone for three models from the Scott Running range. They're all trail shoes, as you imagine. We just do trail shoes in here. And they're all part of the RC range, which is their racing concept range. So we're quickly going to go through each model and uh, starting with this one. Okay, I get, I'll pronounce this wrong, but Kinabalu. Is that Kinabalu. it? Kinabalu. Kinabalu. <laughs> okay, this is the lightest shoe in the range. Coming in at about 255 grams. It is super light. Sole on it, quite minimal, but quite soft as well. So what's it going to be good for? It's going to be good for hard ground running, fast running. If you know if you're racing, you want to get you know PBs and things like that. That's the shoe you're going to go for. It absolutely weighs nothing. Um, we've got the men's and the ladies in each option as well. I should say, um, really, really ventilated through the shoe. Coming out a little bit big for size, I'd say as well, actually, okay, in some ways, but. That's that one, that's Kinabalu. Then we've got the... Super Trek. Super Trek RC. RC. Still got to remember all these. So this would probably be the most popular one out of the lot, actually, uh, in terms of what it's going to do. So this is your real mixed trail running shoe. So anything for around here. It's got a more aggressive sole on it. It's got a 360 degree uh, look pattern as well. So all kinds of trail, be it dirt, be it mud. Uh, bit of everything it's an absolute cracker so port hills bouncing around oxford anywhere that and again it's not particularly heavy i have to go to my notes actually on this one it's about well 270 actually in the men's 235 in the ladies so again that's gonna be the one that most people probably want for sure then the beast at the end <laughs> the rc ultra now i've been using this shoe since may this is an absolute weapon of a shoe. Um, first off, look at the lugs on that. You could plough a field with it. I literally have. I've been leaving marks all around the port hills with this thing. Uh, super stiff, super solid shoe. It, it, it suits a bigger lad or a bigger, or a bigger girl or somebody that's heavy because this takes some breaking in as well. It's not comfort out the box. Big muscles. Big, Big muscles, muscles, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a real all mountain ultra shoe. So say you're going to do the Crater Rim Ultra, or maybe the one that's coming up up in Craigieburn, what a great shoe that would be for it. The top of the shoe is maybe shoulder fabric, um, which we, we find actually usually as crampon patches on some of the pants we've got. Um, I can't state how solid this shoe is. I've had probably 350, 400Ks on mine now, and they don't look like they've been used. Absolute belter, but it, it is stiff, and it does take some breaking in, so it's not gonna be everybody's. So, overall, super solid shoe, Ultras, hard running in the mountains, big days out. You're a whip it, you want to win, that's your shoe. Or for 80% of us, that's going to be the winner in the middle. Anyhow. And we've got all the ladies' versions as well. Absolutely. Before he forgets. Cheers, guys. Remember, it's Crater Rim next Sunday. So hopefully, the last minute training, but it should all be just coming down now. And uh, we'll see you on Sunday. Cheers. Bye.